Canute the Great by Maria Edgar. I'll tell of Canute, King of England. A native of Denmark was he. His hobbies were roving and raiding and paddling his feet in the sea. By trade he was what's known as a Viking. Each summer he'd visit these shores, help himself to have whatever he wanted and come back in the autumn for more. These trips always showed him a profit. What stumped him to know was this year. Where the English folk got all the money he came and took off them each year. After duly, duly considering the matter, he reckoned as how his best course was to plan an invasion of England and tap the supply at his source. He got all the Vikings to join him with a promise of plunder and spoil and rate up atrocity stories to bring all their blood to the boil. They went and landed next morning at Weymouth and waited for the fight to begin while their foe, Ethel Red the Unready, found his army and got and fell in. When battle were done, Crown of England changed and so the history book state from Ethelred's seven and a quarter to King Canute's six and five eights. The Vikings was cheered as the winners. Ethelred went somewhere and died and Canute, to his lasting atonement, made the widow, Queen Emma, his bride. She started to teach him his manners, to drink without wetting his nose, put his hand to his mouth and say pardon every time the occasion arose. She said his companions were vulgar, his manner more easy than free, made him promise no more to disgrace her by paddling his feet in the sea. At the time, this here promise meant nothing. It was made in the cool of the spring. But when summer came in with a heat wave, it were a totally different thing. He took his court down to the seaside where they took off their shoes and the socks and they rushed to the sea and they left him alone on his throne on the rocks. Said one, come on king, have a paddle, I'll look after this actor and crown. Said Canute, I promise the missus and I can't let the old lady down. No need to do that, said the tent to the tides coming in, as you see. You promised you wouldn't go to it, but you can't stop it coming to thee. And that's how it happened that later, when Emma came over the sands, she saw Canute knee-deep in water, trying to shush the sea back with his hands. And not letting on that he'd, he'd seen her, he was chiding each wave as it came, saying, Thus far me lad and no further. Till Emma said, What is this game? Said he, These here flatterers told me the sea would obey me, and so I'm giving them this demonstration to show what a fat lot they know. They're doing quite right, shouted Emma. It's time someone made them look small. Then she took off her shoes and her stockings and started to paddle and all. <laughs>